in this lesson, we're going to learn about triangle angle bisector theorem. And that says if there is an angle bisector in a triangle, it will bisect the opposite sides into two proportional segments. So the important word we have here is bisect. That means cut in half. And what this is saying is that if you have an angle that's cut in half, then you're going to have two sides in each triangle that are going to be proportional. So our angle here that's being cut in half is angle C. We know that it's being cut in half because when you cut something in half, you have two equal parts. So we have this little mark here. That means that's congruent to this little part here. So remember, those little arcs means that the angles are congruent. Okay, it's saying that in this top triangle, we're going to have two sides that are proportional to this bottom triangle. Okay, so one of the sides in the top triangle, in the blue triangle, I have is AC. And that's going to be proportional to the same long side in our uh, green triangle, which is going to be CB. Okay. Just match them up by their lengths, the long side and the long side. And then we're also going to have the short side and the short side. So our short side in the top blue triangle is going to be AD. And then the short side in the bottom green triangle is going to be DB. Okay. And this is going to be true no matter what the triangles look like, as long as you have an angle bisector that's cutting this bottom part. So for example, let's try this next one. We have a triangle um, here and a triangle here. We've got our angle bisected because we know that this angle is congruent to that angle and it's gonna create our two proportional sides. So if we're gonna set up this equation, it doesn't matter which one goes on top, which one goes on bottom. I'm just gonna start with the blue triangle and I'm gonna put the number nine on top. That's gonna be proportional to the long side of the green triangle, which is 15. And that's gonna be equal to the short side in the blue triangle, which is X, over the short side in the green triangle, which is five. Okay, and when we're solving this equation, anytime you have a fraction equal to a fraction, you're going to cross multiply. So we got those two numbers multiplied together, those two numbers multiplied together. So 15 times X, any number times X, you're just gonna combine the two, so we got 15 X. And then we're going to do 9 times 5 on the other side. Okay, 15x is equal to 45. If we want to solve for x, we got to get rid of the 15 out front. We're going to divide both sides by 15. Those 15s are going to cancel, and we're going to be left with just x equals 3. 